Hello, welcome to another edition of Daniel Speaks. If you are watching this video for the very first time, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, Main Homes Realty, and click on the notification button for information on property investment. Um, also, share this video with friends, families, and associates. So, the Dangote Refinery at um, Ibejuleki, Lagos, was inaugurated today. 22nd May 2023 and even as we speak the inauguration is ongoing so I decided to make this video and I'll be speaking on the significance and benefits of the Dangote refinery in Ibejuleki, Lagos. So um, Nigeria offers um, significant investments and um, real estate opportunities with the refinery being one of the largest in Africa there is a potential for economic growth and um, development in the Bejuleki Ekbeleki axis. So, um, investment wise, um, Dangote Refinery presents opportunities um, for both local and um, international investors. The project aims to reduce um, Nigeria's dependence on imported um, petroleum products and, um, of course, to stimulate the country's um, economy. Investors can um, explore various sectors um, such as um, construction, infrastructure development, logistics, and supply chain services to um, support the refinery's um, operation. Additionally, um, there may be opportunities for investments in um, ancillary industries like um, the petrochemicals, fertilizers, and um, power generation companies. Now, um, in terms of um, real estate, you might be wondering what benefit does it bring? So, um, the development of um, Dangote Refinery is um, expected to drive demand for residential, um, commercial and um, industrial properties um, in Ibejuleki and its um, surrounding areas. Now, the um, influx of um, employees, contractors and um, supporting businesses will create a need for housing, um, offices, um, retail spaces um, and warehouses as the case may be. So, um, this presents opportunities for real estate developers investors and um, service providers to cater to the growing demand. Um, it's important for potential um, investors to conduct thorough research, assess uh, market conditions and of course evaluate risk before considering any investment or real estate opportunity um, related to <clears throat> Dangote Refinery. Um, so local um, regulations, um, infrastructure development and um, the overall economic climate should um, also be taken into big time consideration or account um, when um, making this kind of um, investment decisions. So um, the Dangote Refinery um, is going to be offering several benefits just like um, the president has the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President um, Buhari, has spoken. Of course, the um, chief, the CEO of um, Dangote Group, um, Alaji Aliko Dangote, also made some significant speech. And um, well, but I aligned, I highlighted some um, points we're going to be discussing um, on the benefit and, of course, the significance of um, the Dangote refinery um, to investors um, investment wise so one we're talking about the energy security um, the refinery aims to reduce um, Nigerians dependence on um, imported um, petroleum product by producing a significant um, portion of the country's fuel needs um, domestically. Of course, this will enhance energy security and reduce um, vulnerability to fluctuations in um, global oil prices. Um, we're also going to look at um, the economic growth. Um, the refinery has the potential to stimulate economic growth in Nigeria. I mean, um, the, um, the refinery is going to be producing about 160,000 um, barrels per day. That is enormous, of course. It will 
create job opportunities um, both directly and um, indirectly in various sectors such as um, the construction, operations, maintenance, and um, supporting industries. So there's going to be increased economic activity. And also, um, it's going to alleviate poverty in some sense when there is employment, when the employment raise reduces in a country, obviously, the, there is going to be a poverty reduction, of course, in the country and um, overall development. Of course, um, we're also going to talk about um, the foreign exchange savings. Yes. This has been bothering a lot of Nigeria. So um, Nigeria, being a major oil importer, spends a significant amount of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, of foreign exchange on importing refined petroleum products. This is not a news anymore because everybody knows this. So now with the um, Dangote refinery producing a substantial portion of the country's fuel requirements locally, it can save valuable foreign exchange reserves, which can be utilized for other developmental purposes. Of course, when properly managed by the government and all that related agencies. Um, not forgetting the downstream sector development. Yep. Yeah. The refinery supports the development of the downstream oil and gas sector in Nigeria. It will encourage investments in um, ancillary industries, just like I've mentioned before, um, such as the petrochemicals, the plastics industry, and um, other value-added products, leading to the creation of a robust industrial ecosystem. And now... Um, of course, infrastructure development. The construction and um, the operation of the refinery require the development of supporting infrastructure such as um, the pipelines, the storage facilities, and transportation networks. This infrastructure development can have a positive spillover effect on other industries and regions, improving overall infrastructure in the country. And um, something also came to my mind, of course. Why not the use of technology? That's where um, technology transfer comes in. Now, I believe the Dangote refinery incorporates advanced technologies and um, processes which can um, facilitate knowledge transfer and skill um, development. Um, this can enhance the technical capabilities of Nigerian workforce and contribute to the growth of the country's um, oil and the gas sector. Of course, we also think about um, the regional energy stability. Now, um, you might be wondering what this is all about. Um, the refinery's production capacity is expected to exceed Nigeria's domestic fuel demand, which um, they are going to be producing over 160,000 barrels per day. Of course, it super exceeds Nigerians' domestic fuel demand. Now, this is going to allow for potential exports to neighboring countries, you know. So, um, it was said that the excess, which is going to be 40% from the 100% production, it's going to be used for, um, and going to be exported to neighboring countries. Now, this can promote regional energy stability, um, reduce reliance on um, distant um, suppliers, and enhance regional cooperation and trade. Um, some of the fears of people was also um, the environmental impact. Now, yes, we've seen what has happened in the south-south states like um, 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 Bayelsa states. We've seen what has happened in states like Delta states, Worry. Now, um, what are the environmental implications? What is the Dangote refinery going to do about this? So the refinery aims to incorporate best um, practices in environmental management. So I, I believe it has implemented measures to minimize um, emissions, um, reduce pollution, and ensure sustainable operations. Um, I believe their commitment to environment responsibility would also pave way to a cleaner and a healthier <clears throat> environment. So overall, um, the Dangote refineries' benefits include um, improved energy security, um, economic growth, um, foreign exchange savings, um, the downstream sector development, um, 
infrastructure development, technology transfer. Um, we also talked about the regional energy stability and, of course, um, environmental stewardship. So thank you for watching. You can also comment, like and share this video as it can help others. So till we meet again, kindly remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Main Homes Realty. Click the notification button. Have a blessed day. I remain my humble self, Daniel Odile. Cheers.